yeah, it is difficult when it's a bad news result. Um, but I think you've just really got to detach yourself from it. My name's Helen and I'm a trainee molecular geneticist. I work in the lab and we get uh, samples from patients and we test the DNA to see whether or not they're at risk of developing genetic disease. <laughs> it's nothing like on the telly. <laughs> it's not even like Holby City. <laughs> I didn't really enjoy my degree very much. After two years, I was quite seriously thinking about um, dropping out. But then I thought for the sake of a, one more year, I would get a degree out of it, so I carried on. I kind of decided that I was sort of capable of doing a PhD, and that's the thing that I feel sort of most proud about what I've done. I don't think I knew until um, about three years ago that this is what I wanted to do. I think I can remember being about six and thinking that I wanted to be a car mechanic, but <laughs> obviously that's not what's happened. I didn't do anywhere near as well in my air levels as what I did at GCSE. I kind of discovered drinking and <laughs> music and social life and didn't really sort of put very much into college and didn't get a lot out of it. I think um, I would like to, um, to specialise to what I did my PhD in instead of doing sort of a broad range, which is what I'm doing now, but obviously I need a be trained to do everything before before you can specialise. I think it's it's good working in um, sort of an environment like this because there is always something new sort of being identified or discovered. I think I just feel quite rewarded by the job that I do now because I know that the work that I'm doing and the tests that we do actually have relevance to somebody's life and can actually change change things for somebody.